All right, you guys, what's fucking poppin'? It's Neville here. Um, I'm making this video real quick to talk about a few things about my tools that I use to flash my consoles. Um, first thing I want to bring about is that console right there I did by myself. The only part of that console I did not do was a demon ship because it is very advanced soldering skills. This is going out to everyone. If you've never soldered more than a year or two, don't risk soldering a demon to your console unless you just simply don't not care about it because you will probably screw it up. I didn't want to take a chance of messing it up, so I sent it to somebody um, up in New York, one of my buddies, and he did it for like... I don't know, like, I think 20 or, 30, 20 or 30 bucks. Um, not not that bad, and I provided the chip. It was only, no, I think it was, yeah, like, 20 bucks. And I shipped it to him, and um, he shipped it back, and it was just 20 bucks, and I gave him the demon chip. But, yeah, uh, I'm also selling that console. It has, it's demonized and rgh It's a Trinity Slim. It has um, FSD on it, which is Freestyle Dash. Uh, let's see what else. And that's it. Oh, yeah, also Flash with LT 3.0 to play all your latest, um, burnt games and all that good stuff and that's it all right so now we will go ahead and go over to my tools that I use all right and this and this right here this little compartment this is just a uh, mainly a lot of the boxes of stuff that I bought except for this right here and this is my unlock kit that I use on all my consoles and I open them up it is the unlock kit version 3 by team executor um, very very nice. I recommend it to a lot of people if you ever want to be able to open up consoles pretty fucking fast. All right. Then we have all the boxes, all of that, all the other stuff. The only thing that isn't empty in here are my cool runners. I have five cool runners in here, and then I have two um, DVD driver placement PCBs. And I in the very back are two um, Molex PSU power adapters, and all of those are just empty boxes. I'll, I'm not gonna talk about those because you'll see them here in a minute. The actual hardware stuff, and then this is another thing I recommend. If you're ever going to uh, uh, open up a console, I would recommend, if you're going to open up several consoles, I say, I would recommend investing in one of these little bad boys. It's like a, uh, you know, it's like a, it has like a um, screwdriver handle to it, and then it has all your little add-ons, you know, your torques, your flatheads, and your drill bits to it. So it's pretty nice. Um, yeah, it's only like 10 or 20 bucks, you probably get one at uh, AutoZone or Pet Boys. Uh, but there's that kind of use. Alright. And then, um, I'll show you this right here in a minute. But then over here, I can get this out. Uh, let me show this. Just to make, whenever I open a console any faster, I'll also use this. Um... Little power handle. I'll take. I'll. It's like a little, like basically like a power drill, but it's like a little mini one. I'll take that, screw that on there, put my drill, put my um, Torx in there. It will unscrew the Torx. So I can get get the case off with this and the um the unlock tool. I can probably take a slim apart within five 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 minutes if I'm going as fast as I can. So it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, but I use that. To, um, get to take the Torx screws out and all the other screws out a lot faster. All right, but there's that. And then this is where all the goody goodies are in here. I'll go ahead and show you guys this real quick. Um, we have some flux paste right there. We have some, um, these are all a bunch of burnt cables like your, uh, trying to think. Like this right here is the, uh, let me see this. This is the, uh, what is this? I'm trying to think. Oh, this is the uh, Cool Runner to, uh, is that what it is? Yeah, Cool Runner to uh, Nanex cable to program it. And then, let's see what else that is. A lot of these are the uh, Nanex cables, Nanex cords, all that stuff. Yeah, Nanex cords and all that. Um, not real fancy. Uh, then we have scotch tape here. You never know when you need tape. Solder, solder. Um, a com cable. Um, the soldering braid. Flux paste. If you're ever going to solder anything, I don't care what the hell you're soldering, always have um, the soldering braid and flux paste, especially a lot of this. People don't know what this is. If you don't flux paste, I'm not gonna say you can't solder, but it will make it will make your job and just your soldering points a lot more smoother. I'm a horrible sol horrible solder, I'll tell you that myself. It makes it a lot better. And the um, two CPRSC cables that I don't use. All right, and then in here, this is where all my like, my stuff is. This is my USB Pro version two. Um, let's see, a CK3, which I'm selling that by the way. A Nanex, another Nanex RGH edition. Well, this one's RJ tradition right here, and then there's another Nanex the main one I use. Uh, a Pro 3 for fat consoles. Let's see what else is in here. My, um, my USB Pro version 1, which I'm selling that too. And then, uh, let's see, what else is there? 
these are um, my quick solder boards for the, uh, let me see it real quick. Those are for the, uh, um, yeah, all right. Those are for the uh, Nanex and the Cool Runner, if you want to use it for the Cool Runner. And that's really it right there, you guys. So uh, that's all the stuff I use. I just want to show you guys everything so you guys are new and had a little heads up. If you guys don't know what none of this stuff does or is, I would re recommend go to Team Executor or um, that's like your main site and you buy most of this stuff where you can not buy but know about most of the stuff because a lot of this is Team Executor products. I think almost all of it was really. Yeah, everything in here really was. Um, so that's it. I'm out.